this video we're going to look at finding the equation of a line if it's being drawn for you. Um, before you watch this video I'd recommend that you watch two videos. One is on uh, equations of lines or it might be called y equals mx plus c. And another video is called uh, finding the gradient. Okay, so here we've got a line drawn for you and what we're going to do is we're going to find the equation y equals mx plus c. To do that we need to find two things. One is its gradient. So remember the m stands for the gradient. and the C stands for the Y intercept. In other words, what value it crosses the Y axis at. Okay, so the Y axis is this one. So it crosses at minus one. So it's gonna be Y equals something minus one. So it crosses here at minus one. So the Y intercept is minus one. So now we need to find the gradient. Now to find the gradient, we're gonna choose two points on the line. Okay, so let's choose this point and this point. And to turn it into a right angle triangle, and we're gonna find the gradient. Remember the gradient is gradient M equals rise over run. So you work out the rise and you divide it by the run. So the rise is two and the run is one. Two divided by one, equals 2. That means the gradient of the line is 2. So that means that you replace the m with a 2, so you write 2x. So the line is y equals 2x minus 1. So it's got a gradient of 2 and it crosses at minus 1. Okay, so again we're going to find the equation of this line. So it's y equals mx plus c. So let's first of all work out the gradient, the m. So choose two points. So I'm going to choose, um, I'll choose this point and I'll choose this point. Now, you can choose any point at all on the line as long as um, it goes through a, a, an exact coordinate. So this obviously is minus one, minus three. This one is one, three. For instance, I wouldn't try and use this point because you can't, it's not an exact coordinate. So choose two exact coordinates and turn it into a right angle triangle. And we're gonna use rise divided by run for the gradient. So the rise is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And divide that by the run, 1, 2. And 6 divided by 2 is 3. So the gradient of this line is 3. So it's y equals 3x. And then plus, well the y-intercept here is 0. So you could write plus 0, but I suppose there's no need. So this line is y equals 3x. Okay, we're going to find the equation of this line. So again, it's y equals mx plus c, where m is the gradient and c is the y-intercept. Let's find the gradient m. So choose two points on the line. So let's choose this one and this one. So again, turn it into a right angle triangle. And we're going to do rise divided by run. So the rise is 1, 2, and the run is 1, 2, 3, 4. So the rise is 2 divided by the run, which is 4. So 2 divided by 4, you could write this as a decimal, so 2 divided by 4 is 0 0.5. I like to just simplify my fraction, so, or my fraction to get a half, so I would just simplify that. So you're going to get y equals, and the gradient is a half, so a half x plus, and c was, it crosses the y-axis of 3, so it's going to be plus 3. Okay. Okay, and finally, we're going to find the equation of this line. So it's y equals mx plus c, where m is the gradient and c is the y-intercept. So let's find our gradient by choosing two points. So let's choose this point and um, I'll use uh, so I'll use this point, okay? And turn it into a right angle triangle. Now, as this is going down, uh, you're going to do your right angle triangle like so. Um, you could do it the other way, it doesn't really matter as long as you're labelling um, the rise because you're going down, the rise is going to be negative. So the run is 2 and the rise, because it goes down 1, 2, the rise is minus 2. So rise over run equals rise minus 2 because it's going down divided by 2 which is equal to minus 1. So it's going to be y equals, and instead of writing minus 1x I would just write minus x and it crosses at minus 3, so it's minus 3. So it's y equals minus x, minus 3.